All right, we're back. Episode two, monthly check-in, June 2024. Uh, summer is pretty much right around the corner. It's technically here at this point. Um, you know, I don't know what the first official day of summer is. I didn't really look at the calendar. I don't know. But, you know, it's technically summer at this point. Got a lot of music coming up. I'm super excited for, and I hope you guys out there, artists, producers, whoever you are, you're working on some awesome things too that you're gonna be sharing with the world this summer. Um, but I'm happy to be back for uh, episode two. June is usually, you know, my favorite month of the year. Uh, my birthday is this month, and I'll be releasing some music in the next couple of weeks, which we'll get into toward the end of this one. Uh, and the main point of today is I'm gonna be discussing how being a podcast guest has really benefited me over the last like year, year and a half, just being able to be a guest on other people's shows. Um, so like I said, we're gonna get into all this stuff in a bit, but first let's get into my picks, my music picks for this month. My first choice is a song called Crashing Down by a rapper named Dante Thomas, featuring Blue Boy and Chris Patrick. This is a single from Dante's upcoming album, which is dropping on June 14th. Uh, I actually just started listening to his music in May, so only a few weeks ago. I've just been diving into his back catalog. I'm just a super big fan of what he's doing. Uh, I love the vulnerability in the message of his music so far from what I've heard. He has a couple different albums out, uh, a couple solo projects and a few collaborative projects as well. Uh, but I'm definitely excited to see, you know, when this full album drops. But this song uh, is a very, very emotional song, I can tell. I feel like it's going to be one of the more, you know, deeper cuts from the project. I think the album is going to be 12 songs and he's dropped, I think, four of them so far. But all four singles I'm a fan of. But definitely want to highlight this one uh, as it just dropped, I believe, a week and a half ago. So definitely go check that out and check out the rest of his back catalog. If you're a fan of like J. Cole or Saba, people like that, you'll you'll be a fan of Dante's music. And so far, I've been very impressed with what I've heard from him. So I'm excited for this project. I believe the project is called uh, An Apple a Day. I don't, don't quote me on that though, but I believe that's what the album is going to be called and it's going to drop on June 14th. So definitely excited for that one. Next up is an EP by a rapper producer named Odyssey, who I've been listening to for the past couple years. If you remember last month on that episode, I talked about Frith. Uh, he's a producer signed to Mellow Music Group, and Odyssey is also signed to Mellow. Uh, I don't know if this release was with Mellow or if it was independent or with another collective, I'm not really sure, but this one is called And Yet Still. Um, he touches on a lot of different things, you know, going on in the world right now. That's really what Odyssey has done throughout, you know, his music in general, um, being part Sudanese and part American. I always loved his perspective on things and just how he looks at the world um, based on his life experiences. And it's no different in this EP, uh, very introspective. I love the production, his style of production. I'm just such a fan of. Um, and I'll highlight the title track because that is one of my favorites and that's The Closer, I believe. Uh, but it's six songs. I'm just thrilled to see what he does moving forward. Uh, I believe he's working on another full album that's coming out soon. So definitely excited for that one. So be sure to, sure to check that one out as well. Um, Odyssey and yet still. My third pick, final pick of the month is by my favorite MC, Lupe Fiasco. Uh, if you've heard any interviews with me or you know, you know, my influences as a producer, as a music maker, Lupe as someone I started listening to when I was nine, 10 years old, uh, just hearing like Superstar and Kick Push back in the day. Uh, so I've always looked out for what he's done. And this is kind of a surprise. He dropped this song called Samurai. Um, and this is gonna be the album that he's been working on that is basically a concept album revolving around Amy Winehouse. Um, and, and so I'm intrigued to see, you know, what the full project has in store. But the first single alone, like, just has me hooked. You know, I'm excited to see what the full project is gonna sound like. And Soundtrack uh, produced this one, who has produced a ton of Lupe's music in the past. Um, like, when I think of great producer-rapper duos, you know, I don't know if a lot of people think of Lupe and Soundtrack, but I definitely do because they've always made the best quality material together. 
Uh, and we'll see, you know, who else is going to be on this one. Uh, I don't believe there's any features. The project is only going to be eight songs. And the project is also called Samurai. So this is like the title track to the album, but it's also the intro. Uh, looks like it's going to be a shorter album, but no matter what, I think it's going to be great. And I just love pretty much everything Lupe's always put out. You know, I feel like he's always been pretty, pretty slept on just based on how his career had kind of unfolded when he was signed to Atlantic Records. But now ever since he's been independent, he's just been continuing to release music and release high quality music still. I, I just think his consistency since the beginning has always been there. Uh, he's going on like 20 plus years at this point of just putting out great material. So I was, uh, I was, you know, elated when this track dropped uh, a few weeks back and I've just been playing it nonstop. So definitely go check it out, you know, if you're a fan of lyrical hip hop, if you know who Lupe is, which most people do, if you're into hip hop, definitely go give this one a spin. All right, so like I said earlier, today's main point of discussion is gonna be talking about being a guest on different podcasts. I've discussed this a little bit in my own show, which is called the Proven Knowledge Podcast, which I host weekly music interview series. You know, if you're familiar with me, you know that that's a thing. Go check it out if you haven't already. But what I decided to do in the last couple of years was kind of flip the script and be a guest on other people's platforms. I had already known, you know, certain music creators and different individuals that had ran their own shows. And I thought, you know, what, what better way to kind of be involved uh, in what they do, but also get my own story out there as a music maker than to go on their shows and talk myself. Uh, and it's kind of just cool to be able to do it for a few reasons. I think the biggest reason for me is that when I'm a show host, I have to do all the planning. Uh, I have to come up with the questions list, make the content, all that stuff. When you're a guest, you get to just lay back and let them do the work, let the other show hosts do the work, and you can kind of just answer freely and uh, just be yourself. I think picking the right platforms is the big biggest thing. Uh, I've tried to aim for primarily shows that are about music or creatives or something in that realm. I also look for some podcasts that talk more about life lessons and things like that. If there's anything I feel like I can share and add to, but I think you want to look for, you know, how is it going to benefit your brand as a music maker? You don't want to go on like a cooking podcast for per se. Like I'm not saying don't do that. But I think it's more important to kind of, you know, know the lane that you're trying to aim for. And really the biggest goal of doing all that has been to expand my audience. Um, so when you're looking to expand your audience, you want to have similar niches that you're trying to, you know, reach out to. Um, so I think like I'd be open to doing other types of shows in the future. I think for now though, I'm just focused on those creative podcasts and there's just so many podcasts. So I'll give you guys a few ways that I've found to get on to shows. Like I said, I know some people already through my own network, uh, other creatives that have podcasts. You can always reach out to people like that. Uh, what I did on Facebook, actually, if you have Facebook, I have joined a couple uh, collaborative groups, like podcasting groups, where we go in and we'll post like, we have a show, like say you have a show, uh, you want to find guests. So you'll say, you know, I want to find a guest. Here's what we discuss on the show. Um, and reach out to me with your information if you're looking to be a guest and vice versa. Um, I've gone on there as well. And I've said, you know, I want to be a guest on so-and-so's podcast. Here's what I'm looking for. Here's what I can, you know, discuss for you. Uh, here's kind of my resume and what I've done in the past. So those podcast groups have helped a lot. I've been on probably seven or eight different shows at this point, just through doing those collaborative groups. Uh, another way is going to places like X, which is Twitter, whatever you wanna call it, searching uh, some keywords such as looking for podcast guests or in search of podcast guests. Um, I've been able to find things through there, through hashtags, just going on recent posts and seeing you know, who is looking for podcast guests. And like I said, sometimes you're gonna find podcasts that have nothing to do with you and you can't provide anything to that platform, but just keep looking. Like I try to look at least every week to see if there's anything or anybody I can do to kind of add value. Uh, that as well as being able to look at other accounts on that platform um, that also post certain podcasts, like they'll post submission forms 
of different podcasts that are in search of guests. Uh, and usually like when, when certain um, platforms are in between seasons, they will announce like, we just ended this season. Now we're looking for guests for next season and they'll put out the submission form so you can fill it out and do those sorts of things. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are pretty much the ways I've found that it worked up to this point. I'm gonna keep looking for different ways to be on podcasts. But I think the biggest thing is just look for, you know, like I said, things that relate to what you do. And as musicians, creatives, are they in that lane? And just be able to reach out and, and be genuine, just like I would say about anything else, just be genuine, be yourself, introduce yourself, and just be timely. Like if you get accepted to be a guest, don't mess around with that person's time. Like as a show host myself, I could tell you, I just appreciate when people are on time and they just do what they're supposed to do as the guest. You know, I'm gonna take care of everything else, but just be on time and you know, if something comes up, communicate with me that that's an issue. And I try to do the same thing as a guest. You know, if, if something comes up, I'm gonna let them know so we can reschedule. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps you guys today. Um, you know, I think that that is something that could be very beneficial. I know a lot of people always look for ways to promote themselves and their music. A lot of people pay for things. Um, I don't know if I'd pay for podcasting myself. Uh, you know, if you want to donate to these people's platform, if you want to do that, go ahead. Um, but this is a free way usually of being able to promote you and what you do. And people can actually hear your voice and probably see you as well if it's a visual podcast, as opposed to just reading about you in a blog or a post. Uh, it's a lot different. They get that personal connection. So yeah, I hope this helps guys. All right, so like I talked about last month, I have a lot of music coming out in the month of June. Uh, by the time this episode drops, I believe at least one of these singles is gonna be out. The first one is called Certain, and it's dropping through a label called Good Vibes Only. Um, I'm probably gonna use that as the track playing throughout this video. So if you hear the instrumental in the background, that's the one, um, go check that out. It'll be under my name only. The Good Vibes Only name will not be attached to it. So just look up my Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you stream music, look that one up. But the big one is on June 28th, my single called Horizon is gonna be dropping. It's the first single from my upcoming instrumental album called Unknown Advantage. I will have the pre-save link in the bio. If you use Spotify, um, go ahead and pre-save it. If not, be on the lookout June 28th. Um, got a lot of other cool things coming up. I'm not gonna give everything away now, but those are the two big things for this month. I also may or may not have another record dropping on the 28th as well um, with a label called Ghetto Street Records. They're putting out a volume two compilation of different producers and they put out a lot of boom bap beats, 90s style hip hop beats. Um, and I have one coming out through them. Although some of that stuff hasn't been finalized yet. So I'll put that out in the air. I hope it's gonna be dropping on the 28th still, but that's the other one that's coming out this month that I'm excited for. Um, but yeah, I think that's I think that's all she wrote for June for this month. So uh, a lot more music coming in July and August and then so on and so on. So I'll, I'll just make sure you guys know about that stuff. And like I said, the Horizon pre-save link will be in the bio. Um, so yeah, feel free to support if you'd like. There'll be the other links as well as always, the Beat Stars. If you're looking to buy beats, um, you know, that's the way to go. Like I said, you hear tight beats here on this channel. Uh, you know, you can use them for nonprofit, but if you're looking to actually use them for real, go to Beat Stars, get those. Feel free to email me with any questions or leave a comment on this video if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. Um, check out the Proven Knowledge podcast, new episodes every Tuesday. Um, always looking for new guests as well. And all the other links will be there. So we'll see you guys next month. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys got some value from that whole podcast discussion as well. And have a great kickoff start to the summer. We'll see you guys next month.